let's talk about uh, fear for a minute. Fear, the millions of people living in the United States without documents get feel fear getting picked up and being deported. The fear of many people to register with the federal government when there are 20 states that are suing the President of the United States of America and when Congress, uh, Congressman uh, uh, Yoho, uh, passed a bill uh, that would deport dreamers. Uh, how do you mitigate fear when there's a three-year period for these five million people yeah. and people don't see a very rosy picture? Well, actually, you know, number one, they should take the example of their kids because you think about all those DACA kids who signed up, understanding that was temporary, but they proclaimed, we are Americans, we need to be seen and heard, and we want to make a contribution to the society. Um, they're all signed up, and, and I have a great deal of confidence that they're going to end up making those contributions to this society. Uh, as I was saying in the town hall earlier, uh, we need now to register people who are qualified, and if they register, they're paying taxes. They are going through a criminal background check. The American people believe that if you've done things the right way, then you shouldn't be punished for it. You're not going to see Democrats or Republicans who suggest that we're going to treat worse the people who did the right thing uh, compared to those folks who, who mm -hmm. don't register, don't go through a criminal background check, and haven't been paying their taxes. So uh, if anything, it's more likely that those who go through this process are probably going to be in a better position to take advantage of the legislation that I believe will ultimately be passed because it's the right thing to do and it's what the American people think should be done.